My name is Lisa Maxwell, and for about five years, I owned a walk-in arts and crafts studio here in Austin. And what I'm here to talk about tonight are those people who would come into the studio and not make arts and crafts. They would cross their arms and say, I'm not artistic, I can't do that. Horseshit. I mean, come on. Being creative is part of what makes humans humans. And I realize I'm preaching to the choir a little bit here in Austin. We have a huge community of makers and doers and crafters. Um, a lot of people who've realized that fundamental joy in bringing something out of yourself that you've created, that you've made. Um, the, the core, we're going to hear about creativity a lot tonight. The core of creativity is creating. If you don't make something, you're not being creative. Art is universal. There may be 500 words for antelope in the world, but one picture will relay the same message. It precedes the written word. Where would we be if our ancestors, in making their arrowheads, said, this is too hard, and my clay bowl is crooked, and I hate this, and I'm not doing it? We wouldn't be here. <laughs> Creativity and making things is an iterative process, and nothing is ever perfect the first time out. If you don't pick up your stick and your rock, you're never going to get to a drum, and you're never going to get to a guy who made puppets and was a genius and makes me cry. <sighs> so, working with color, with shapes, with depth, with smells, with textures, all of these things that take you out of the day-to-day -day staring at your computer screen and reading words. And I was an English and journalism major, so I love words. But these things benefit you in so many ways. And don't be scared, this is a painting by Michelangelo. And when they applied infrared scanning to it, they found errors and corrections, and it's Michelangelo. Nobody is perfect the first time out. This next slide is very similar. This is from craftfail.org. It's very similar to the first baby blanket I made, but you know, I gave it away, it's fine. Um, you wrap up a blanket like this around a baby, you can't tell it's crooked, and the baby's still warm. So. With that in mind, we are all going to do a craft. So get your paper out. And um, I hope everybody can see the screen adequately because I'm not really talking you through the instructions. Um, it's a visual. Yeah. I don't need it. Y'all need it. <laughs> OK. So um, just follow along on the instructions if you want. Um, mostly it's uh, something you can see. Plain side up first. Orient it like a diamond. Do I need to sit down? What if I go down here? All right, so um, we've become really detached in the world today. I think we're a little bit lazy. We can click on a mouse and get um, something delivered from the far side of the world or download any movie that we want to see whenever we want. And I think that has separated us a little bit from what we need to survive. What we need, and you're going to hear this tonight a number of times. To survive as a people, we need to be able to take care of ourselves. and. Um, this is a very simple origami project, but it's not less valuable because it's simple. Um, the first three steps of this are the first three steps of many more complicated projects. And it may seem relatively simple to you, but you do this with a kid and it's like magic to them. So my uh, guide for you today, and this is a catch up slide, so yeah. Um, <laughs> And really, if anybody gets behind, I'll help you later, because I like to do that. So, um, my, my, my message to you today is that buying a shirt and making a shirt are two different things. And yes, you end up with a shirt, but in one case, it's unique, it's different, it's like nothing else out there. Um, nothing wrong with buying shirts. Uh, I love Target, whatever. But it's a whole, it's an experience, and it's not just a thing. Um, I think we're all into experience a lot more these days and appreciating a lot more. So we're coming to the big finale right now. My favorite bit's coming up right here. So, Assume swimming position. Yay, how are we doing? So, And the piece de resistance at the very, very end, which is to activate the tail. Yay, there you go. And I really appreciate you all doing this experiment with me. I had no idea how it would go. And um, thanks for your patience and for listening. And please go make something. All right. Hey, we need a bigger round of applause because those two ladies did not even know they were speaking tonight.